This video reviews how to set up your HQ18 Avante. These are the items included in your box. Refer to the manual for an itemized list. In the other box are front and rear handlebars. Let's attach the front handlebars. Turn off and unplug the machine to prevent damaging the machine electronics. Locate the three long bolts and the five millimeter hex wrench. Slide the bolts into the holes. Line up the holes on top of the handles with the pre-drilled holes on top of the machine. Securely fasten the handles to the front of the machine with the 5 mm hex wrench. Carefully plug the 9-pin connector into the serial port located on the left-hand side of the machine. Next, attach the rear handlebars. Slide the short bolts into the holes of the L-bracket. Line up the two holes in the L-bracket with those on the rear of the machine. Hand tighten and then use the 5 mm wrench to securely fasten the handles to the back of the machine. Carefully plug the 9-pin connector into the serial port underneath the rear handles. Plug the ribbon cable into the carriage encoder assembly. Adjust the frame height so that when standing at the front of the machine with your hands on the front handlebars, your elbows are bent at a 90 degree angle. Place a foot on the side leg and lift the end of the frame up until the latches click in the desired position, making sure both latches are fully engaged and in the same height slot. Now adjust the center supports. Set the other end of the frame to the same height. Double check to make sure the frame is level. Refer to your owner's manual for more tips on adjusting the frame. Let's install the thread mask. The thread mask comes with a washer and nut on it. Remove the nut and washer, replace the nut onto the mast, and then place the washer onto the machine. Tighten the mast clockwise until it is securely in place. Use the nut to secure the mast to the machine. The eyelets of the thread mast must be centered over the spool pins. This ensures that the cone of thread will not pull, turn, or tilt, causing thread tension problems. Now let's install the laser light assembly. The laser is a guide that is used with panographs. To attach the laser stylus to the rear of the machine, remove the nut and washer from the laser stylus guidepost. Place the nut and then the washer, and then thread it on to the machine. Tighten the post clockwise until it is securely in place. Attach the laser clamp onto the post. Wrap the cord around the thread mast and plug it into the back of the machine. Before plugging in the machine, we recommend a power strip with a surge protector. Insert the cord into the top power connector on the rear of the machine. Plug the three-prong end into the power source. Remove the screen protector film from the screens and then turn on the machine. The next video you'll want to watch is needles and threads. Be sure and watch the bobbin winder video. This will teach you how to wind your bobbins correctly.